Right, um, I'm just making a video. It's about, um, the f this is a Fiat Ducata. And I know that a lot of us suffer that when we start up, we big puff of smoke and it takes two or three minutes for it to clear. But I'm going to show you a way of stopping that. Now, I'm going to start up my van and hopefully it will puff out a big plume of smoke. So let's have a look. Now, you could, did you see the big plume of smoke? Right. Now, mine isn't so bad because of what I'm about to show you. Um, this is a way that a mechanic showed me how to clear our black smoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the front of the van, I'm going to loosen up stuff, and I'm going to show you how to cure that, hopefully, on your old vans. Right. Back in a minute. Right, I've came to the front of the van and now I'm going to show you, this is my air filter box. There's a Jubilee clip here, which I've loosened, and a Jubilee clip just here. I'm trying to hold the camera in because it's very windy and I don't know what the sound is. So we'll remove this pipe here, I have them all loosened already. At the bottom now we have another pipe. We can loosen that one and what we'll do is these just clip down now I've already removed my air filter but if you see where my finger is there you'll see there's a little tab like a little receiver and if I just show you this you can just see that little notch when you're refitting your air filter that little notch that I just showed you sits on here. I've already removed my air filter, but then we have, um, I hope you can see this, we have another pipe at the bottom of the air box that we loosen. And inside in the air box there's three size 10 nuts. Um, use a deep reach socket and get down there and then this should just hopefully lift up out where I think this one's still a little jam there we go these can be a bit stubborn I'm trying to do it with one hand I'd say I'm gonna to have to wiggle this out with two hands so I'm just putting the camera off for a split second Okay, so now that I've moved everything out of my way, I've loosened up the fuel filter. We're just going to take that fuel filter out and empty it. And um, it's already loose, so... I'm going to grab that with two hands. I don't want diesel dripping everywhere over the engine, so two sacks. This is the fuel filter that I've just removed from the van. And... As you can see, like that's only the ground is giving it a started colour. That's only a, a good fuel filter, so we're going to reuse that, there's no need. Now, if most people that replace the fuel filter will always fill it up again with diesel. I have never done that, that's why I don't get much black smoke. I might get a tiny little puff at start up, and that's it. I don't have to drive for two or three minutes, none of that. What I do is instead of filling up the fuel filter with diesel I fill it with dipper time it's got the same ingredients as diesel uh, and it does it was a mechanic that showed me this who works with diesel and it's a brilliant job so I'm going to try and just balance that and what we do is without drowning myself we will fill up our filter now with dipper tin. I'm just going to stop the film because I can feel the can about to spill one second no it's holding I'm going to just stop uh, I'm just going to add when you add the dipper tin, like leave the filter inside the unit here in the canister let that soak it up so it could take a couple of minutes now to fill this but there's, we're not in a race like we're trying to get the vans to run right without smoking all over the place and without feeling embarrassed 
So as you can see that was at the top and this is about my third or fourth time. All it is is it's soaking into the fibres within the filter. So just be aware and take your time. Right now as you can see I've been filling through the central, the big hole in the middle and now you can see it's come up through those six little holes on the outer which now means there's absolutely no air in there whatsoever so this is ready now to fit back onto the van so what I'll do is I'll you only tighten these on by hand as tight as you can and then give it a, an extra squeeze as tight as you can if you know what I mean so I'm going to wrap a towel around this so it doesn't destroy the engine and we'll go and fit this back right as you can see that's the fuel filter back in place the one thing I did forget to mention is when I was filling it you would have seen two rubber rings on top um, a good thing to do is put your finger into the old diesel that's came out and just put them around those rubber seals and it, it gives them a better lock that's the correct way to do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and get the rest of the parts that we took out, air filter box and hoses and start fitting them back in. Right, that's my air filter box and stuff. The one thing I always do whenever I have these out is I always make sure and just give the insides a clean up through these pipes. As you can see, like there's plenty of dust and what have you so what I do is I have an air compressor so I always go out I'm lucky enough that I have a good bit of tools and I just run a dry cloth through there through those hose ex um, receivers the tube in here I use just run sorry that was a van going by I just use you want you can see the dirt there just to make sure it's all clean when we put it back together. Right, so now we've added the uh, dipper team. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the van. Now it's just after being bled, so whether it's the start up straight away, we'll say. So we'll just turn the ignition here and we'll say. As I said now, remember my van, I am to be on top of it. So that's why there's hot, no smoke. We're going to leave this run now for about 20 minutes and then what we'll do is we'll start it when it's cold tomorrow first thing and we'll see the difference i'm going to take this maybe for a small spin okay bye right this is the following day after taking the van for a spin i think there's... so we're going to start the van and we'll see the difference that the dipper tank makes now you saw the puff of smoke. I think I might have air still in the van, so I'll have to bleed that out. This is the dipper tain, and what it says is. For each litre to put a tenth of this bottle in, I always add an extra bit. The reason being, my van it is old, like so I expect some sort of um, carbon build up on my engine, and that's all that black smoke is—is is the carbon build up. So um, I hope this video might help a few of you out there, and if it does, will you please make sure and like and subscribe? Okay, thank you very much. Bye.